Hey, it's Joe Lines from the Automator, and I got a really cool script to share with you today. And uh, don't make fun here when I share my desktop at the size of everything. I, I made the icons bigger here in the bottom, right? So it's just easier for you to see, so I, I bumped up the DPI. It's not normally, I'm not that blind. Anyway, um, often, like you'll see here, if I click in here, a lot of these are auto hotkey scripts, but we don't have like this green age. We don't have 20 of them because then I'd be really hard to tell them apart, right? So you probably know how easy it is to go in and change that system tray icon for your tool. However, a lot of people don't do it because it takes a couple minutes and you know it's time consuming and then you have to find the icon. Well, our tool does both for you. It can help you find an icon and you can actually search. It's really cool. So you go up in here and say, oh, I want to search for, I will say dog. Are there any dogs? Nope, I should have thought about that. Um, people. So we've tagged thousands of these icons. These are all, um, and it looks at your computer across all the um, DLL files that we're aware of and looks at them and then a lot of them we've tagged with certain things. And what's really cool is right here, you can choose what you're trying to do. Do you want the, just the path to the thing? Do you want to work this set? Tray icon is the one I, I normally use and most of us normally use. Uh, but if I want to have it V1 or V2, now when I double, when I click somewhere, double click, it says, hey, we copied that. So now like I actually have, let's, let's go into this one script. I'm going to edit it because it shouldn't be just blank. This is our pretty links manager. Um, notice it has no tray icon. Now I had that commented out because I just um, realized that was there. But let's go ahead and just paste that. Now I'm going to save it and I'm going to relaunch this. Now the um, it actually used, if we go back into our tool, it was that one. And in here I should no longer have, now I have a oh, pretty links manager. What is this? Oh, it's running twice, that's interesting. So maybe that doesn't have a single instance force. Um, I'll have to double check on that, which obviously it should. But you get the idea, right? Um, there's a lot of different things, like our notify class, which is what we used in that bottom right, you can even have, we have that built into it. So this would give you the format for using it in your notify, um, using our notify class. So it's very, very cool. Um, you can go, you can, you can also filter on the different DLLs if you know the one you're looking for. However, um, we've tagged a lot of stuff, also colors, so green, um, brings up a lot of green, red, let's say triangle. And what's cool is if you decide, hey, this one, this one should have another thing like exclamation point, I can put a comma here and say exclamation and append it. And now that just updated your, of course it won't update ours, but it'll update your local version. So next time when you search, and hopefully if I do this, I don't know if I have to reload, but um, exclamation. So it should be, it's here now in that list. Right? When I got to do, I have to click that for it to go away. So it's very, very cool. I'll put the URL up and how to get this. Hope you enjoyed that. It's it's a really, really handy tool. Like I said, it works both for V1 and V2. For It's a V2 script, but it exports the V1 and V2 syntax. But yeah, anyway, very, very cool. It's a great time saver. Um, if you like that, please like the video. It really helps us out. I hope you're having an awesome day and take care. Cheers.